Radical. 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 What's up, everybody? So I just showed Kenny. And he's looking at the uh, old school. The old school in television. It's similar control panels, kind of like. Right, right. Know. Okay, see. So that's the new one. Yeah, because the new one has the round little pad there, and then it has. Well, that's got a keypad, but the new school has the what screen it looked like. I on see. It. So you'd yeah. be my on point guy for this in television uh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like the trailer you and me watched on the new in television, Amico. Okay. Um, yeah. What do you think about it, the, the new spin? Oh, it's like a new spin on a lot of those games that yeah, it's those old recall. school games Remember. with a new spin on it. You know. Yeah. Uh, Looks like great graphics. You know. I mean, I mean, compared to, of course, like you would hope the graphics would be a lot better than they were on the original. Oh yeah, but definitely. What do you think about Moon Patrol? Oh, the Moon Patrol looks killer. I, looks killer. I, yeah. Yeah. Isn't it's, it? it's just way better in graphics like I said you know asteroids it'd be fun to play asteroids right same thing with asteroids yeah like, asteroids mm -hmm. look pretty cool on there and it seemed like they had a lot of uh, you know good stuff on there uh, yeah I don't know uh, how fast the processor speed and stuff on there if they're gonna be cause it's you don't know if it's systems of potato or not right. I haven't, I haven't looked it up I'm not sure yep cause I you mean, hate to get something that you know they're only going to have out for a short time, you know. Is it upgradable? Mm -hmm. Anything like that. You know? Long longevity, so. long term. Is it going to be the kind of thing that you think is going to last for a while? Or right. I mean, because if they're redoing all the old titles, I mean, I mean, what about newer titles? You know. I mean, yeah, I mean, what kind of questions? Well, you're not going to be know? seeing any like Assassin's Creed games on here. Right. It's not going to be anything that's a, a high graphic. Uh, yeah. Uh, what 2K, 4K. They're going you for know. a certain market, right. it looks like. The family. The uh, family. Family market. Family market. Somebody like me, old school, that would love to play the old school games. Right. And, mm -hmm. and with the new age, you know, touch to it. Does that make sense? You know, yeah, like, so it's, it's going to really a, appeal to, like, you know, old school gamers. Yeah. I get that. Appeal to old school gamers and a lot of people, well, basically, like, as, it's being touted as, like, a family device. Mm -hmm. You know, a family system. So, I guess that's the market it's trying to go for. Okay. I'll, I'd be definitely interested in it, but the, when you and me looked up the pricing yeah. on it, that the pricing just seems like it's really, Too, really yeah. steep. Like I think originally yeah. it was expected to be around one fifty, but it looks like it's going to be around two hundred bucks now. And I know that like, there's a, there was a pre order founders edition. Uh, I think two fifty, two seventy nine. I think there's a wood mm. grain. There's different kinds. Um, right. You know, and and you know, Tommy stopped by. You know, he's he's um, he's the guy. And he offered to do like an interview and talk with me about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, seems like a cool guy. He's talking to a lot of people about this system. He's, you know, trying to sell it, trying to get it out there and everything like that. I get it. Mm -hmm. uh, but is it a hard sell? Is it a hard sell at that price? Me, I would think so. Yeah, you I mean, and, and the thing is, like, you would be one of the type of people that he was aiming to try to get this in the hands of. Mm -hmm. Someone that's when I show you the trailer, you were like, "Hey, I remember that game. Hey, I remember that game. Yeah, I remember that one. Right? And that one. Yeah. And then we looked at the price, and you were like, ah. I don't know. But yeah, the the games itself, mm -hmm. decent price. Point. Decent prices. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, definitely decent price point. On I those. read two ninety nine to nine ninety nine. So I that's say, not bad. I, I would pay that. You I know, would pay that. So it's like I think the system should be. I think the system should be around 150. I think it should be. Mm -hmm. I mean, just looking at the market. I mean, right now you got Xbox One and PS4 around the $200 price point. Or by the time that this thing releases, uh, the PS4 and the Xbox One will be around the $200 price point. Right. If not, maybe discounted less in certain areas. Or for Black Friday, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, now. One cool thing is it does come with five games. I'm not sure. I think the skiing game is maybe one game it comes with. with is it, and you is said, that pre-installed or is that cartridges? Oh, that, I wonder. Those are questions. I I, hmm. I don't know. Like I'm just there's so many questions like I have about it. And like I said, Tommy stopped by and he offered to do an interview. Uh -huh. uh, and then you know I asked Tommy. I'm like I think I brought I said I brought e-bagging. And I said, well, Tommy, here's the thing. I mostly just I mostly discuss e-bagging and scammers on the channel. Yeah. <laughs> I just discovered something. Yeah. The old Would school you, in yeah, television, yeah. when it came out in 79 to 80, it was the price point on that. And back then, that right there would be expensive. $299. Oh, for so the original, reflected. Yep. I see. Maybe that has something to do with it. 
Mm-hmm. You know, they came out with the same price point as the yeah. original television came out in the eighties. Yeah. And that right huh. I think today that would probably be equivalent to would you say eight hundred dollars? I don't know. You know, in, in t- terms well, of... Well, was that the actual price point? That's the actual price point of oh. the original Intellivision. That's a good bit of money. Yeah. yeah Back gaming, then, that would be a lot of money. Gaming got a lot cheaper, you know. Gaming oh, yeah. got a lot cheaper. So, I don't know. I, I think it's just like, if people didn't already look at the, the Switch and the PS4 and the Xbox One, if they wasn't already in the market, then a lot of people would be clamoring, I think, for this Amico. Mm-hmm. I think they would be. Well, I mean, not clamoring exactly. I mean, like, I'm honestly not super interested in it. It's a curiosity, but you right. would be more interested in getting one. <clears throat> yeah, I would definitely consider it. <clears throat> yeah, but at a lower price point. At a lower price point. <laughs> so yes, technically, I have uh, an Intellivision uh, emulator on my computer, and I right. have all the Intellivision games, and I can emulate it on my computer. Yeah. But it's not, it's different from having it plugged up to your TV. Exactly. And actually sitting in front of your TV. So, you know, I definitely would be interested, but it's right. got to be at a lower price point. I, to, I think, to me. I think the first thing you ask yourself when you pitch your product to market is what is the market? Right. Is the market flooded? Um, <clears throat> who is interested in this device? Right. Okay. The, the, I mean, does how many questions? Out of the three questions? It would be definitely limited. Uh, limited market. Limited market. Because what else out there already? The, the, the new kids nowadays, they're going to want the Xbox and the PlayStation. Yeah. You know, I mean, Switch. I mean, I mean, I mean, you've heard a lot of squeakers when you're playing Call of Duty. Right. You know, there's lots of a lot of kids playing Call of Duty, <laughs> and it's. I understand, like. It's it's an it's an interesting idea. Mm-hmm. You want to bring the family back together. Um, the Wii yeah. for a while in 2006. Yeah. A lot of lot of like grandparents. Mm-hmm. They played with their kids on the Wii. Right. So it could be like a second coming of, of those times. Mm-hmm. You don't hear much from Wii anymore. I I don't personally. But well, there was the Wii. There's the Wii U, and then now there's a Switch. Okay. Yep. You know, the Wii was 2006, it came out. The Wii U came out, I think, in 2012. Then the Switch came out in 2016, I want to say. Something like that. That sounds about right. Yeah. And the Switch being a big departure because it wasn't... Well, it's dockable, Mm -hmm. but we're not going to talk about the Switch and everything. Right. Now, a lot of kids are already playing. And Mm -hmm. did they already get rid of the 3DS? Is it already gone? I'm not sure. Maybe they're facing it out. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> yeah. But the kids usually play on mostly the Nintendo consoles. consoles. Mm-hmm. And adults do too. Okay. Yeah. But I'm saying kids mostly gravitate towards the Nintendo stuff. Right. Cute, colorful characters. You know, all that good stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have the hardcore gamers that go for the Xbox yeah. and the PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what's left, really? You, you got the you got people maybe from the old school that are interested in Moon Patrol and stuff mm-hmm. like that that want to yep. play updated versions. Yeah. Then you got I don't know. It's hard. It's it's, it's hard for me to come up with think about a market. It is. Yeah. Okay, but I understand. I understand the pitch. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of like a tough pitch, I think, right now. Right. Yeah, I think it'd be like uh, you know because the Atari had the flashback system, which I have too, which got different games on them. Right, right. I have that one. I've got an Intellivision flashback with a few games preloaded on it. Right. Yeah. Uh, hmm. The people that are buying those, I think, would probably be interested in that. So, I, you're right. It'd be a tough sell. It seems a tough sell. <laughs> uh, but he's around. He's all, all different places on YouTube. It seems like Tommy. Uh, he's in multiple places. Mm. We recently talked about like a we recently talked about a person Trap Town USA, right. which has nothing to do with this. <laughs> I, I can't keep mentioning enough that right. Zimmer Tracks Trap Town USA Tyler. Uh, well, I'm not even going to get into that, but I made a joke that well they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tommy Tommy seems to be omnipresent too. Tommy oh. is everywhere too. In he fact, is. I think Tommy will probably stop by here. You know. Oh, let's hey, hope. Hey, Tommy, how you doing? Uh, I really actually have more questions to Tommy, not really about the Miko, but how he feels about e-baggers and e-bagging. Mm-hmm. You know? Has Tommy ever had a basement leak like Metal Jesus? I'm not sure. All right. You know? <laughs> That's how the interview would go, basically. I'm like, okay, Tommy, I really don't want to talk about the Miko. How do you feel about e-bagging in the YouTube retro gaming community? Right. He might have some fascinating takes. I'm not sure. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure, right? Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, 
our final verdict on it, and well, I won't say it's a final verdict because there's a lot more I need to really learn about it. Right. At this point, and you're really interested, but the price point just kind of it's too much. Yep. I'm not that interested, except in a couple games. Mm-hmm. I think the price point for the games is great. Oh yeah. But having to pay two hundred dollars for this thing to oh, get like, cheaper games, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I would think you would almost call it a television flashback system. Yeah. yeah in a way. Now, now if this thing was ninety nine ninety nine, okay. Yeah, it'd be a little more. Cons- yeah. This would be freaking hotcakes. Yep. This thing would sell like hotcakes, <laughs> baby. Hotcakes. One fifty, maybe, maybe. Maybe. You know, mildly warm cakes. It's got an N and a nine. One forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, but yeah. wouldn't one ninety nine ninety nine? Oh no! No, not at one ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, I, I just don't think so. <laughs> so yeah, I think the pricing should be readjusted. Yep. And uh, long term, long term, a uh, long term. I don't know. Yeah, I just be one of those things. Just a bad somebody would pick it up, to maybe play the old games and with a new style, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, well, a lot of people get this, and then will it maybe collect dust? Um, I yeah. think for I think for families, if you have some kids, right? Okay, maybe they might really love this. Like mm-hmm. I say, it could be a reemergent, a coming back of the Wii times. A lot of people miss those Wii times. Mm-hmm. Getting together with your family, throwing your controller into your TV screen, yeah, and breaking, breaking your controller. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, now, also, I may not have told you. I brought this up the other day. Mm-hmm. I forget which video, but you, you know, Pat the Nest Punk and Ian. You don't? No. Okay. It's, well, it's probably good. They're, <laughs> they're kind of douchebags. Okay. Especially, <laughs> especially the one. There, there's one that... Well, actually, I really I don't know how to rank them as far as douchebaggery. I'm not sure which one is the douchier. But <laughs> they seem to have like an agenda against Tommy and this system. Huh. And they uploaded a video just being really hateful towards it the other day. Really? Really. What's it? Yeah, like we're being objective towards it, but mm. you would think that Tommy just pissed in Pat's cornflakes. Right? Mm. I, I don't know. So, yeah, that's uh, what me and Kenny think about the Intellivision Amico so far. I know there's more research we could do about this thing, but mm. uh, me, I don't know about you, Kenny. I've, I've kind of lost interest in it. All right. You know, the price point just, woo. You know, it's not that I can't really afford to get the Amico, it's just that there's so many other things that I could buy instead of the Amiku. Right, with that money. Right. Yeah, kind of like a PlayStation 4, yeah. right? I would get a PlayStation 4 before that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, you know, but you, you know, Tommy could maybe get through to you. So, Tommy, stop by, maybe talk some sense into Kenny. Push Kenny mm-hmm. on this. Why Kenny, Kenny might be a customer of this. Yeah. Me, though, yeah, not so much. All right. Well, take us out of here, Birdman.